here we have concerned villagers that um, the people of Emery Grove were, were, were annoyed. Um, it is so disgusting that we have reached out so much, so, 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 for so long to the government. We had tried to ask them to assist us because we have these people from the MLA and the Laguna village. As far as you can see, they, 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 they come around and they're just cutting, they're cleaning, they're demarcating land, land within the, the, the traditional boundaries of Emery Grove. And so far, we have not gotten any assistance from the government. And um, as I, I, I have uh, spoke to Honorable Dolores Belleramos um, no later than Holy Thursday. And she had promised me that she would have looked into the situation and get back in touch with me. Right? As far as we know, uh, when we speak to anyone from the government, they are telling me that the situation is touchy. Now, for us, residents of this village, they are telling us that it is touchy. But as you can see, the, 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 the people from the um, Laguna village and people um, under the umbrella of the MLA, they are demarcating, they are cleaning, they are just thronging land. And I want to send a message that we will not tolerate that. We will not tolerate it. As, 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 as the chairperson of Emery Grove, there is no way that we will stand by and we will have no one step into our village and just take our land as they feel. Because Belize is for Belizean. Belize is consists of many ethnic groups. We respect all. However, we would like this one group that is trying to take over the entire Toledo district to respect other people, right? Have you tried to um, address this concern to the um, community leaders in Laguna? Let me tell you something, my brother. The community leaders in Laguna, as far as I'm concerned, the only way they would like to speak to um, members of um, Emery Grove Village Council is when they are on the social media so that they can look good in front of the, um, of, of the, of, of the public and so that the public may believe that there is some sort of a communication or, or, or some sort of a love for other ethnic groups in this country. They do not want to have anything to do with people like me. Um, this area, along with all the other areas, if you would drive up this road all the way to the old San Antonio Road where the, the bunkers of Emery Grove should, um, should, should um, end, um, is brushed by people from Laguna Village. Not even one person from Emory Grove. The thing is that we go to the land um, department. We actually try. We actually try to um, apply for a permission to survey so that our villagers can have have the benefit or the uses of some of our land because our villagers we have need also in our village. But whenever we go to the land, all they'll tell us oh the situation is touchy and that Miss um, the MLA had 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 brought forth some sort of a um, map that they had they they, they had drawn. No, this, this map was not drawn by the government of Belize, right? This map was, was actually created by this specific organization. Now I want to say something, and I want to say this right now. I want to know if it is legal for the government of Belize, because this is what members of the, uh, the MLA or element, element from MLA is saying, that they were granted one million acres of land in the Toledo district. So is it legal for the government of Belize, without consulting the populates of this country, to go and issue one million acres of land to one specific group? How about the other? How about the Garifunas? How about the East Indians? How about the Mestizos? How about the Creole? Um, aren't we Belizeans? Aren't we human? As far as I'm concerned, we're going to take out every bit one of those junk that they have put in that was not placed by the government of the, um, this country. And, and as far as I'm concerned, it is unconstitutional to go and place any cement pillar within any land that is not yours. Right? The only, the only entity that can come and place um, um, cement pillars on any lot is a registered survey office. And that the, the, the land, a, a registered surveyor, sorry, not office, a registered surveyor, and the land must be issued by the, by the state. Are you aware when the cement pillar was, you know, um, erected? Well, the, the cement pillar was erected over a period of time. And I have been calling, I have been writing, I have been crying for assistance. And no one seems to want to assist us. The way, what I'm seeing, uh, what I'm seeing and what I'm getting from this is that the only way they might assist us is that whenever this thing um, actually resorts to some sort of a violent or something. Because they, we are bowling on the government, we are calling on the government, we are, we, 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 are, we are trying to be humble, we are civilized people, we are asking them to please step in and do something. Because we won't stand by any longer. 
and watch these people do what they want. Because what they must remember, you might say that the MLA is organized. Believe you me, that we, we are also organized. Remember that this is not only Mary Grove. We have a lot of people, Belizeans, black people like me, East Indian people, Hispanic people, right, who needs a piece of land. Just like the way the, 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 the members of the Mayans community needs land, the, the, the other Belizean needs, needs a piece of land, right? And we are here to take care of our Belizean people the same way Miss Christina and her crowd wants to take care of the Mayan, right? So I, what I would like the, um, for, for the government to understand and respect us, you are talking about Belize, Belize is for Belizeans, and you are also saying that Belize is rice and beans. This is not rice and beans, this is down Carlo. Because one group of, group of people is um, eating from this, right? So we want it to be rice and beans, as the Prime Minister loved to go on the t in national TV and say that Belize is for rice and beans. Because I am giving the government one week to respond. Because if they don't respond, then we will be back here. And this time it won't be with just a few villagers. Because as we all know, today is a working day. Everybody went to work. Everyone went to work. And it, it will not also be with only members from Emory Grove or villagers from Emory Grove. I'll get all the support I can from the entire Toledo district and wherever. And we'll be out here and we'll stand on our grounds. Because as far as we know, this is Emory Grove. And as far as we know, we are being disrespected. We are being trampled upon. And this must stop and it must stop immediately. So I am now looking forward for a quick response from the government.